I think I covered this, I don't know, before I got cancer. But I made this platform basically out of two befores all the way back in 2016. You can kind of see on it here that it's got some garden fence attached to it with just staples. And this is where I grow mostly cucumbers except for when I make a mistake and I accidentally somehow got a squash or a zucchini in there <laughs> and I also do these right here are butternut squash a vining variety of butternut squash so usually what I do I have cucumbers on this side butternut squash on this side and I just let them grow up now there's some other wild vines here sometimes I clean them out honeysuckle I didn't this year I probably will next year it's just kind of a pain in the butt because they grow all along my fence line all the way around this garden there's like vines growing in everywhere but this is something you I actually built this out of scrap so I had some scrap fence when I put fence in the garden I had some two befores because I used to use them as braces between the t-post and it didn't really work out too well, so I just repurposed them and and uh, made this. I wish I actually had two or three more of these, because what it does is it allows you to grow horizontally. I can grow a whole lot of food on this. It's probably five foot by eight foot, and it's setting here because when I used to have raised beds back here it was at the end of one of the raised beds so i would generally put like a line of cucumbers across there and some butternut squash and just let it climb up i've gr also grown pumpkins on it um i probably got some pictures i'll see if i can find them where they grow up and then grow over but the nice thing about cucumbers is as they grow and these flower you can see this thing is just plum loaded with flowers but as they flower and they start to grow, what happens is the cucumbers drop down in between the fence squares. And then to pick them, you just get underneath here and pick them out. <laughs> Makes it really easy to pick cucumbers. Um, so about this squash, I don't honestly know how that squash got there. All I can think is I either mislabeled one of my grow cups when I transplanted from the air garden to the cups or I planted it in the wrong place because my other squash is up there and I didn't even know I had this squash until it was too late and then I was like well the thing is thriving here I'm just going to leave it so that's basically how that happened <laughs> but uh yeah I mean the cute it doesn't seem to be affecting the cucumbers any so maybe we'll have some uh zucumbers or something i don't know what's going to happen they both flowered at the same time they're side by side could be anything <laughs> um anyway so that's kind of the thing on that and while we're standing here here's the update on you see all of the okra and then in between the okra i planted sweet potatoes i think i did a video on this already i ain't gonna go over it too much but you can kind of see how this okra is thriving it's only been about five days since i tore those leaves off you can probably still there's some of the leaves right there just now starting to dry out but you can actually see the leaves on the ground where i come out here and did that video where i tore the leaves off the okra and people were commenting that it was bull and all kinds of other stuff sorry for my french I have to bleep that out, but that's actually what the comment said. But no, that is actually how you get okra to grow and thrive, is to tear the bottom leaves off. Even if you don't do it, the okra plant's going to do it on its own, because that's what they do. When the plant gets a certain age, it kills the bottom leaves. So you're just speeding up the process. Anyways, that's all I wanted to do was show you this trellis, I guess. It would be like a trellis. And uh, it's really simple to make. You can make it out of scrap lumber, a little bit of fence. You do want to make sure, like you don't want to use chicken wire. 
because chicken wire the holes are too small and the cucumbers won't fall through i mean that's the whole reason why i use the fence wire that's just standard field fence you could probably find a farmer and say hey have you got like a eight foot long section of fence i could have he's probably got his old fence or a spare section of fence or something like that he'll give you and the other thing is too i didn't do so there's about a foot and a half 18 inches distance from the bottom of the trellis where the fence actually starts and i did that so i could actually start the plants kind of set back some from the edge see there there's the corner but the plants are actually planted up here all the way across and then that what that does that helps them kind of like grab a hold of something to climb up so if you planted them all the way out here at the end of the fence they may or may not do that anyways thanks for watching as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads